Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jasper's, your Wangsang Gurgle, Jasper's Deck. Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be looking at the packages that I got from China and Taiwan. Um, basically, anything that was given to me or anything that was part of the Kaishui Con of China uh, gift bag, anything of that, we'll be looking at. And today I'm going to try my best to cut as little as possible. So you're gonna see very awkward transitions. <laughs> transitions. Oh no, oh no. First up, let's take a look at the bag that was given at Kalishi Corner of China. Take a look at it. Canvas bag with a beautiful logo down the front with floral uh, designs. Really, really cool. I really, really like it. And on the first day when I was in uh, China, I met this guy called Nope, Mr. Nope, Nope Xianshen. That's right. And he gave me this thing. What is it? You may ask. This is What is it? Well, very simple. Nope gave me this leather case that basically helps you hold whatever you want it to. So, inside this leather case, there are sections for um, a deck of playing cards like this. Ooh, silicone gel. Pretty cool! What's the one? Pretty cool! Um, there are places for your name cards, credit cards, but not more name card and credit card sections. Um, a little tab that will hold down your cards. Let me think of something that you could hold down. Ah, if you have a small iPhone, you could probably hold it down using this. More name card holding areas, even more name card holding areas, and a little, um, as he suggested, lipstick holding area. Pretty cool. This whole thing is made of leather and it costs less than 20 US dollars so uh, if you want to check it out it's on Taobao T-A-O-B-A-O dot com uh, you can check it out this leather casing by Mr. No next up um, on the next day when I headed over to Country Con of China I was given this deck of playing cards NOC's collaboration with Magic 8 Mosu Ba Mosu Ba is a pun it doesn't work in English at all, but yeah, this deck of playing cards. Pretty cool. Let's open it up. Let's... Oh. God damn it, USPCC! USPCC! USPCC makes the worst cellophane around. But yeah, this is... A limited edition Magic 8 15th anniversary deck of NOC playing cards. Let's check it out. Simple card case design, simple deck design. You can check it out right here. Focus, camera focus, please. Thank you. Very simple deck design. Crush stock as per usual, USPCC standard stuff. Uh, it comes with one joker, two jokers, one double back card, and one 15 of hearts playing card. The deck is ultra thin like most um, crush stock playing cards, and the cards feel pretty, pretty good. Uh, this is what the Ace of Spades looks like. Um, minimal playing cards, pretty much the NOC standard playing card. Um, and the rest of the cards look pretty much standard. This is what the cards look like in a fan. Usual colors, standard colors, normal playing card. I like it! Very nice! Next up, let's take a look at this bracelet. This bracelet is also from Mr. Nope. And it comes in this... Um, Checkerboard style of bristletiness. You can pull this to stretch it open and you can wear it to pledge your allegiance to Mr. Nope. 
Very nice. Moving along. Oh, next up is the country con of China. Playing cards. Uh, they are their official event related playing cards. These cards are produced by Epoch Cardists, which is basically the main card community in China. Think um, the verts, but the Chinese the verts. Oh, pretty cool. These are what the cards look like. Boom, 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 boom. Um, and in Chinese, this says Liu Feng. Liu. Feng, Liu Feng, Feng 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 Feng. Oh, one of those sounds. Liu Feng 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 Feng. Open this up. Oh, this time the cellophane came off easily. Very nice. Very nice. Open it up. And these are what the jokers look like. One in red and one in a slightly bluish grey. Pretty cool. I, I actually kind of like this in relation with the back design. Um, the end cards are made of one that says Epoch Kalishri and one that says King of Hearts and then the King of Hearts stabs himself and says Seven of Hearts Why would the King of Hearts stab himself and say the Seven of Hearts? I tried to catch that card but I missed One more time One more try Boom Boom uh, this is what the Ace of Spades looks like. Pretty cool. And for the entire deck, the red has been substituted with a dark red, a dark maroon, dark blood red. And the blacks have been substituted with uh, what looks like that bluish grey from the Ace, uh, from the Jokers. The deck is crushed up as well. Also, standard USPCC affair. Ooh. What's interesting about this deck though, is that the cards are actually one way back. Check it out. It looks like it's a normal two way back design, but it is actually one way back. And it has the word Epoch Cardistry written on the corners of the back design. So if you cut the deck, um, you'll be able to see that the back designs in a fan are not two way back designs. They are not exactly the same throughout the entire fan. But not always, because um, the, the borders are quite thick and it looks like you can't see the back design like this. Huh, interesting, I didn't realize. Well, maybe in the spring, you'll be able to see that the card back designs are not the same. Could you see it? Could you not? Let me know in the comment section below. Another deck that I got at the Country Con of China is this deck designed by TCC Playing Card Co. Um, the Mingo Playing Cards. Very interesting. This deck doesn't look like it's designed by USPCC and on the front of the box you can see a flamingo on the back of the box it tells you it's designed by TCC playing cards let's take a look at what the cards actually look like on the inside so on one of the backs of the cards is this blue version of what I assume to be the normal deck design and on the other side of the ad card is this QR code and the TCC playing cards Instagram telling you please follow me I need to I need you to follow me on the next card it says bingo with a flamingo on the deck design pretty cool I like it and is there an ace of spades yes there is ace of spades right here looks pretty cool two of spades 100% customized card design um, and it goes all the way throughout the rest of the deck so here are the two jokers one black one red and here are the ace of hearts the clubs the diamonds or oh, this these are what the court cards look like pretty interesting the spade the cards feel 
softer than typical US PCC playing cards, but maybe a little bit stiffer than uh, the Crush Stock. Oh, but the cards feel so good though. Let's take a look at the back design. This is what it looks like. A flamingo intertwined with the letter T, which is what the TCC playing cards usually uses for their back design of their playing cards. Very nice. On the other side, let's check it out. Oh, very nice. Maybe in a fan. Not, not, not a normal fan, and under pressure. Very nice. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The cards with the T, um, you would assume that the T is very visible in movement like this, but because the T is intertwined with the flamingo, it actually takes away from the distinctiveness of the cards as they are moving. Pretty cool. Pink is actually one of my favorite colors. What do you think about that? On the second day of the event, um, one of the girls that were at the event, a 14, 15 year old girl, she came up to me and she's like, uh, Jaspers, uh, which means, uh, Jaspers, I made this for you. And then she came up to me with this water painting of me doing a Kanahan fan seated on a table. Super, super cool. Thank you very much for your art. Um, I love it, I will cherish it. Thank you. On the second day, also Kevin Yu gave away this deck of playing cards. Check it out. You may be wondering, wait a minute Jaspers, where is the cellophane on this deck? And to tell the truth, it didn't come in cellophane. What it did come with is this swanky, swaggy, awesome, blue and pink design that goes around the entire box and it says made on earth by humans hmm interesting distinction Kevin are Kevin are you worried that this is not obvious that it is made by humans hmm hmm these are what the jokers look like a beautiful beautiful red pink, purple, blue gradient on what looks like a dog or a wolf. Very nice. And on the back, one double backer. Oh, it's not it's not just a normal double backer. It's a it's a color swap double backer. Instead of blue and pink, you get blue and orange. And also an ad for riffleshuffle.com feel like they are stiffer than your typical USB-CC playing cards especially compared against the Crush Stock playing cards but they are moderately thin and they feel very very comfortable in springs the card color because of the back design the cards look pretty good in springs actually I, I, I kind of like it whoa whoa bro whoa this is what the Ace of Spades looks like, very nice. And these are what the Ace of Hearts, clubs. Ooh, wow, look at the court cards. Holy crap. That looks nice. Very psychedelic, very trippy looking. Very nice. And diamonds. These are what the Spades look like. They're pretty similar in terms of the court cards. The color scheme for the, the court cards, whether red or black, look pretty similar. Look pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Damn it, I missed. Next up is a deck by TCC Playing Card Co. And it is called the Forma Playing Cards. Forma? Forma, I thought this is some more easy. What does Forma mean? I'm not sure, but let's take a look at what the cards look like. It comes in a, with a seal on it. I got number 2135 out of 5000 decks. That's a lot of decks! The, the, the seal didn't come off perfectly. It's a bit... Oh! Now it's off perfectly. Alright, so the format playing cards comes with 
an ad card that looks like this with another side that looks pure um, pinkish orange I guess yeah I think it's pinkish orange one of these days I'm gonna catch one of those cards it's an ad card that says TCC Play Card Co with their typical ads on the back miss it again and on the other side two jokers that look like this here we go we gotta get this boom nail it nailed it oh. mm. two jokers the ace of spades looks like this very geometric looking graphical design very modern looking playing cards and these are what the rest of the cards look like so there is two three four five six seven nine this is what the jack looks like a mixture of all the colors they have chosen to use queen and king here are what the red cards look like and then the jack queen and king the cards are moderately soft pretty much like USPCC playing cards and they feel pretty nice pretty nice I, I actually kind of like these cards they feel very comfortable in the hands and the design makes sense this interesting oh wow that fan looks pretty good too let's see the other side oh wow we also got one mystery deck I have no idea what's in this deck I haven't opened it until now let's take a look innovation playing cards truth garden it says at the bottom black design on the back pretty cool and it says oh they call themselves the bacon playing card company hey if it's bacon if it's bacon it's probably gonna be pretty good right all right oh wow these cards are stiff they are solid feeling playing cards one joker that looks like this pretty interesting design second joker also looks like this 54 card deck so there is only two jokers no end cards and these are what the cards look like it's of spades two of spades three four five six seven eight, nine ten this is what the jack looks like the queen the king these are what the red cards look like these cards um the faces especially the clubs look like uh, Italian playing cards and in terms of the feel these cards actually feel like Jamco playing cards and Jamco play playing cards I believe is from the European area maybe even Italy the cards are really stiff interesting it feels like a deck that I would play with for an extended period of time like just figuring out the properties of the deck and figuring out what I can do with this deck that I can't do with that I can't do with other decks it feels really nice to use in cuts and the cuts have weight to them so even in movement uh, in, in kickflips or in packet tosses like this they feel pretty good I'm not sure how long the fanning, uh, fanability of the deck will last but for now, when they are brand new when you just took them out of the box they feel pretty good it feels like it should be Jemco and it feels like the back design gives you an opportunity to mark the cards but as far as I can tell, these cards are not marked eh, 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 no, no. when I was at Kali Shri Khan of China I also went over to Hanson's booth and checked out this wood cutters that he produced. Kind of like squeeze. The only difference is that these trainers are actually made of wood. I know, I know what you're gonna say. I know you're gonna say, wood? Hasn't that been done before? Hasn't everyone made wood trainers already, Jaspers? Shouldn't this be not very new? Yes? But what Hanson has done is that he has made it so that the 
cards, the packets, the trainers taper down to a sharper edge than they usually do with trainers. This makes it so that because of that, there are gaps of air between the packets and the packets don't stick together due to surface tension or due to the fact that there is a vacuum between the packets. Really good. And they smell really good. Oh my gosh, Hanson. This might be your best product so far. Hanson Chen. This. How bang the the Hua Si Tie Pai Xin Lian the Mu Ho. Doya, water, Hua Wen Sui Ping, Zenda Hen Tiang. These are amazing, is what I just said. While at the country con of China, uh, in the gift bag, they also gave. Hansen Chen also sponsored one of these pins that is kind of like the pins that was made by... Who was it? Who was it that made the 5 pieces of Sibo pins? I'm not sure, I can't remember who. But he made the worm pins. Pretty cool. Finally, finally at the con, we also got these badges. Very nice, Kaishi Con of China 4 written on the back. I didn't use them at all, but I really, really enjoy this touch. I really enjoy it when conventions give a name tag that is completely customized. Very often, when you go to conventions, they don't give you 100% customized name tags. The official Kaishi Con, though, they have your name on the badge. Ooh, that. That is some sick stuff. This one, middle of the road. All right guys, that's it for today. That's a quick look at the packages that I got from the China Country Con and some of it. I was gonna go through some stuff that came in the mail, but it looks like today's vlog is going too long. Uh, shouts to, nope. Shouts to the guys from Country Con of China. Shouts to the guys from Epoch. Shout out to the guys from TCC Playing Card Company and shout out to the guy from Bacon Playing Card Company. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, vlog. Uh, let me know what you think. And your online girl, Jasper's deck. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.